Hey guys, um, back at you here with a unboxing video. Uh, as I promised in one of my uh, tea time segments, I did order a new practice book and I figured I could unbox it for you guys on camera and tell you a little bit about it because it's one of the best methods in the world that I was told. Um, especially for people that, you know, have been playing a while or even those that need to work on specific things. This uh, particular item uh, has six different books in it that help with different techniques and strategies and practicals and practices that you can do on a flute. So without further ado, da -da -da -da. Tover Y. Okay, so Mr. Trevor Y came out with a book, a method. It is published by Hal Leonard, um, which is why it looks like something really nice. Okay, and it's all six books in his practice book series. Okay, so book one is tone, book two is technique, book three is articulation, book four is intonation and vibrato, book five is breathing and scales, and book six is advanced practice. Now, of course, I'll probably end up in book six a lot, but let's show you a sneak peek into what each book looks like. So for tone exercises, it mostly <clears throat> describes how everything harmonizes, and this is the first few pages of that section. It shows you a measure of music and an explanation as to what you're seeing and what you're supposed to be hearing, so you can compare that for tone. <clears throat> Alright, and let's turn to the next section. Let's see here. Nine. Book two is technique, all right, and it has all of the um, main rules like maintaining good posture, never sit down, uh, play with good tone, and play with clockwork precision. So you be precise about what you're playing. It gives you all kinds of tips and tricks on technique, and of course it will show you things like this with the key diagram to show you something better that you could do or a different key you can use um, to play something. So different techniques, different notes, maybe even different fingerings, and of course there are many 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 scale etude style exercises in that particular book. Okay, the next section is on page three, book three, here we go, articulations, there's slur, single tonguing, double tonguing, triple tonguing, the E flat problem, I plan on reading a, a bunch of this stuff, because I'm curious, there's obviously, I mean, I've been playing for 16 years, but there's got to be something new I could learn about my craft, so I figured I'd order this here book as a late present to myself, um, yeah, this is a really good one, actually. The E-flat problem. It says E-flat and other notes in the right hand. So it will show you, once again, sneak preview, it will show you a bar, and it will explain what you're seeing. Now, E-flat definitely has a, a way of cracking, or it's harder to press down all the keys and, and jump between, say, an E-flat and an open note that has maybe one finger down, like a B-flat. So it's, it's hard to jump from those notes. So you're able to practice that and do exercises to um, change, for example, between E-flat and D and um, change between C and E-flat. And that way you can get used to opening and closing keys and articulating the notes correctly, even though they're different fingerings and one is open, one is a closed fingering. And it just it shows you that, which is what I really love. Book four is Intonation and Vibrato. Of course, we know what vibrato is. It's that, ah, like shaking at the end or quivering at the end of a note to give it that, that fullness. So there's that. Um, there's also scale equivalent pieces and parts and things. Different tones. There's trios for two flutes. Flute scales, perfect pitches and tunings. And it shows you all of that. Um, let's see what else we got. Okay. 
book five is Breathing in Scales. So let me make sure I didn't miss anything. No, I did not miss anything. So book five is Breathing in Scales. And that is to do with your body, the way your lungs function and move, musical phraseologies, and that kind of thing. And of course, scales and arpeggios are very important to know. Um, you'll see them frequently in music. For example, when I did um, the Dance of the Blessed Spirits, there was a part in there that was literally a scale with a few notes changed. Uh, when I wrote the music for First Fruits, you can Google that or excuse me, search that on my YouTube channel, and you can find the song First Fruits. That song also was comprised of scales. Da -da 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 -da. That is a scale. <laughs> so you have to know your scales and arpeggios to move on to other things. And last but not least, we have book six, which is advanced practice. Now this one I'm going to really practice the heck out of. Because there is a lot to do with tone and posture. It culminates everything you learned in the previous books. And you have advanced studies of different combinations of notes. Which is very, very important. Especially if you plan to play more advanced music. You need to be able to articulate between all of these notes. And it's nothing specific, but it, it's definitely very cool to look at. And I'm so glad I bought this book. Um... And it can teach you the intonations between fast and slow as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with this. It also has um, fingerings for the top registers and um, the really high notes that almost sound squeaky. That is uber useful. I've come across pieces that have very high notes and I cannot play them. So it would be nice to um, study this here book and you know, go through the practice, like I've been telling y'all in the last, um, uh, tip of the day, is to practice and find time to practice. Well, here's my excuse. I have a brand new six book series that I really want to practice and learn. And thank you guys for joining me, and I hope you guys will, um, potentially get this book. Um, if not this one, maybe a specific one from the series, because apparently Trevor is really good at explaining things and showing specifically what it is that you're trying to learn. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.